Hi uh, guys, so I just thought I'd do a quick um, <coughs> excuse me, teardown of one of these um, LED lamps. This is a 20 watt one. Um, I've got two of these and I've got two 10 watts above me. As you can see up there, which I'm using as extra lighting for the desk. Um, I'm going to put these two 20 watt ones up as well just in case I want some more light. Um, yep, solid metal construction, fully waterproof. Uh, it's Shenzhen um, brand, so you see AC, 85 volts to 265 volts, normal frequency there, all the usual marks. Um, now it's not actually much in these at all. Um, the die there as you can see, um, probably can't see the LEDs, it has actually got two rows in there of 10, so I'm guessing that's how they make the 20 watt, there must be one watt each. So we just take these screws out here. The only thing I don't like about these lights is the length of the cable they give you. As you can see, it's very short, um, which is fine for my purpose because I can join it when I'm here. But if you're mounting it outdoors, ideally you want a long enough cable to run all the way inside. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy a waterproof junction box to join it, um, which is a shame. But then, what do you expect for the price? I suppose these were less than uh, ten pound each. So here we have the inside. Got obviously our two cables here. Actually, it's one cable. What are they doing there? Oh, I see what they've done. Yeah, see the other ones, when I took the 10 watt ones apart, the actual transformer wasn't actually stuck down, as this one is. Um, but yeah, you've got your mains coming in. Sorry, I think that's a bit off camera now. Your mains coming in, earth grounding, and then you've got your... That goes directly into the transformer there, it's all sealed. Then your output here, your black and your red one there going to the LEDs inside, what they've done for some reason they wrap this red one round the <coughs> main wire there to give it a bit of support. Just have a look at the transformer. Here our LED driver, 20 watt, model number there as you can see, KC1020A. Input there, and it's actually got 110 volts AC there, whereas the outside specifies 85, so that's a bit wrong. Um, output there DC 28 to 40 volts, well that's interesting um, there's not really any easy way to measure this without stripping the whole thing to pieces to see what the voltage is coming out so I don't think I'll bother with that it's not very interesting um, so 75 degrees rated IP 65 so yeah it's okay um, and yeah I think that's a date code Sorry. And there are 2014. So, yeah, we've got a diode across the output there. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all that's inside one of these things. Obviously, a rubber seal. Let's zoom out. Rubber seal here to keep it waterproof, which isn't really a problem for me because I'm not using it them outdoors. Just be wary if you do take one of these apart to make sure you get the seal back on properly otherwise of course when you're outside it's not going to be properly waterproof. Now actually it's a bit fiddly this seal. The other one it, it did have a seal but it seemed to be glued in um, the 10 watt ones I've got whereas this one's not actually glued in. Um, anyway I'll fiddle with that later. So yes, yeah, so that's just a quick teardown of one of those uh, LED lights. Like I say, cheap, it was, I think, probably less than £10. It might have been a bit over. I know the the 10 watt ones, I think, cost me £7.40 something off eBay each. I think these might have been about sort of £15 maybe. Um, yeah, but I mean, they do give a lot of light. Um, even the 10 watt ones are very bright, so these 20 watts should be a lot brighter as well. 
Um, ideal for me because I wanted some lighting directly above the desk. Unfortunately, it meant having to get an actual lighting stand to go across the top. Um, it's in a rented accommodation. I can't be fixing lights to the ceiling and that. Um, but it seems to serve the purpose and they're not too expensive. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.